Hello and welcome back to Sipping Details. This is Kimmy. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about this whole situation with uh, Alexander Wright having, well, her son. Her son belongs to Matthew Knowles, and we all know Matthew Knowles is Beyonce's dad, okay? So that's what we're going to talk about. So you know me, I like to talk about things from a holistic point of view and kind of get all pieces of the puzzle going because, you know, I just don't really ever take anything as face value as for the things that they're really just putting out in the press or anything. You always have to look at the big picture about certain, you know, just not certain things, everything. But anyways, so the first thing I'm going to pull up is uh. And this is on Google. This is on the front page of Google. Okay. This is on the front page of Google. So once I scroll down, it has all the information on here. Alexandra Wright, Canadian actress. Um, it already has like a little blurb right here. Beyonce's half brother. She's 52 years old. She has one child, which is the son. His name is Nixon. And this is the little picture right here. Okay. So once I scroll down a little bit more, it has Canadian actress again. She was previously in a relationship with Matthew Knowles and has one child with him, according to Wikipedia. And we're always, I, I'm always going to cite some kind of source to show you where I'm getting this information from. So again, 52 years old, one child, and it says partner Harvey Walden IV. It's like, okay. Also, Alexandra has a Instagram. Boom. Instagram is bad kitty. 88, 88. Wow. You're 52 years old. How do you? 52? 52 years old. And your Instagram is bad kitty 88, 88. <laughs> well, okay. So, this is not the first time this story has been put out into the media. Okay. I've heard this story numerous times over the last 10 years about Beyonce's half brother. The same lady has been trying to come, you know, come at Beyonce. They never mention Solange though, but they always mention Beyonce about some money, some child support or something. But why are you coming at Beyonce when Beyonce did not have a baby with you? Matthew knows had that baby with you. So why aren't you just petitioning the court for more assistance or more help from Matthew knows why you keep calling Beyonce. It's because you know you're going to get some press or you're going to get the, the attention when you call Beyonce's name. Then I also opened this link right here, Global Collective LLC. Y'all, she's doing this, so she's probably trying to um, get some attention on her business because this is not the first time that I have heard this story. So here's the next thing, Global Collective Holdings, LLC. And it's like branding and, you know, business opportunities, management or the entertainment and stuff like that. Like, why she keep, why does this story keep going out into, you know, over and over again? Why, why, why? And then it's like, if you need some kind of assistance or help, but you have a business and you have, you're in a full-fledged, full-fledged relationship with this man here according to google here they have a whole picture right here harvey walden the fourth okay he has a whole picture right here where he's holding her son that she had with matthew knowles on a picture right here that doesn't look like anybody who need any kind of assistance like you you're in a trailer and you all sitting out posted up in front of a house that has a for sale sign and everything else. That doesn't look like you live in no trailer. Like, really? Come on. Like, where's the accountability here? Where, where's your accountability? But then also I have another I have another question though. This whole thing with the with um how men, men are men nowadays is a man's man, and they don't want to take care of anybody else's ch children. 
So it's like, what's going on with this? As the reason why you're putting this story out here again, because you want more financial help with your son. So you calling Beyonce's name or something like that, or you know, you just look for some money to help with your business you're trying to get promoted or something. Cause I, I have my own business too, and it's it's hard and it does take money to do it. So, you know, not saying it's okay for you to do it this way, but you know, people are pulling this stuff up, they're looking, they're clicking, they're going on that website and everything else. And it's just like, okay, but look at this picture though. They're literally sitting there, he's holding another man's son in his lap. And they're smiling and cheesing and everything else. So what's with this child support again? Like, come on, y'all. Just just think about it. Just think about it. Something's going on with this story. And it comes out every few years. And it's always some kind of sob story. Like trying to play on somebody's emotions. It's other pictures on uh, on Google where they have her like standing in front of a trailer she was um let me see if it's gonna pull up my computer's running so slow today Bad Kitty eighty eight eighty eight. <laughs> okay, so here's more pictures. So I guess this is a most recent picture. Right here. This is what I'm talking about right here. This picture is an old picture. Where this is not the first time this story has been put into the press. Shout out to gossiponthis.com because that's where it's coming from. If it ever load up, it's just taking forever. What I'm sipping on today is some cucumber lemonade made fresh in the kitchen okay beyonce's baby brother nixon and his mom alexandra wright are homeless that is from 2014 2014 i'm telling you this is not the first time this story has been put into the press that says 2014 y'all it is 2023 it is 2023 this is not the first time that this story has been put out here this is a recycled story and every time they put it out, it's always some kind of emotion, some kind of emotion wrapped up in it or something like that. This story is old, y'all. This is not anything new. And my thing, oh, so why don't they ever say anything about the other lady, though? Because he has a daughter with another lady named um, Sequoia Bruce, Broussard or something like that. I'm telling y'all, this is not the first, this is not the first time this story has been put out. This story has been recycled. y'all <laughs> they have y'all see it right here on the screen matthew knows children beyonce and solange knows they do not have those other children listed 
okay you have to click on an article to have to see where he has other children outside of beyonce and solange okay but why is everything always beyonce 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 we already know why we already know why everything's always beyonce okay but if matthew knows is out here making these children these women should not even call beyonce's name they need to call matthew knows name beyonce did not have those children with y'all okay so we're gonna go to us weekly us magazine.com us magazine.com whatever us weekly us weekly whatever so it's gonna have let's see because i can see with the little it says uh 2010 something hold on my thing is the accountability for me you know you knew this man was married and you had a child with this man he didn't leave his wife he stayed with his wife they got divorced later but you knew what you was doing because now here it is all these years later they just said that he, she uh she got she had the um had him had the little boy in 2010 and then there was another story released in 2014 i just showed y'all the previous picture where she's outside sitting sitting down on the curb with her with her hand her hand covering her face now here it is 2023 and you still out here talking about beyonce brother beyonce brother money 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 come on y'all now he should be what 13. it should be 13 right now beyonce dad uh matthew knows shares how he raised her to reach her fullest potential i taught by example really okay so we're just going to go and skip down to this right here. Along with the Cuffer singer, 41, Matthew and Tina, 69, also share daughter Solange Knowles. The former couple were married for more than 30 years before calling it quits in 2011. Okay. He became a father again in 2010. So he had the little boy before. He had the little boy before they got divorced. Okay, probably was a reason why maybe I don't know for sure. I'm just going by what I see. I don't know for sure. I don't know these people. Like I said, all this is coming from public domain information. I do not know these people. I don't know why they got divorced. I wouldn't. Have. But it just said that she had the little boy. Why is my computer running so slow today? Okay. Um, became a father again in 2010, welcoming his son, Nixon who is 13 with Alexandra Wright, as well as his daughter, Koi, who is 12 in the same year. Okay. But daughter Koi, 12 with Sequoia Branscombe. The Sequoia Branscombe, you don't ever hear anything from this lady. You don't hear anything from she doesn't come out, she doesn't say, you know, anything as far as, oh, I have my daughter belongs to Matthew knows this is and that. It's always Alexandra Wright. The last last couple of times that same story came out about the little boy. It was her. It was her. Keep I'm telling you, that story is that is not anything new. It's not that's not anything new. Let's see what else. Raising his daughter with Tina, music manager, providing Right, prioritize exposing them to all sorts of different hobbies and career paths. This, this, and that. Da, 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 da. Yeah. See, man, come on. That that is not a new story. That the story is it's just not new. It's just not a new story. But my thing is, how is it she comes? She's coming for Beyonce. <laughs> Like Beyonce owes her money. No, go to the court. Okay. If you need to, you want, need more child support or whatever you need. I don't know what you need. Um, why, can't, why can't you just go to the court and petition the court and ask the court to um, contact Matthew Knowles or whatever. If they don't have any kind of contact with you to uh, try to seek more child support or assistance with your child why are you coming out like this putting this on front page news though and then last last couple of times that lady they pay 
the the other the results of the other stories basically she comes out the, the same thing she came out she was trying to start some start some smoke or whatever and then next thing you know it got quiet and went away and that was back in 2014 now here it is again the story has come out again so it's like we're gonna see what happened with this story it's gonna be the same thing she's gonna try to start some smoke and some traction or something next thing you know she's gonna get quiet and she's gonna go away again and it's just like okay like come on why are you doing it this way though like just go to the court just go to the court i don't i don't understand this this whole baby mama culture and you know trying to dox these men because you want money for your child but essentially you want money for yourself but you knew this man was married you knew this man was married you could have just said no you could have just said no but no, you decided to go ahead and have a relationship with this man. He knew he was wrong doing what he was doing. But just because he he doing that on me, you have to do that. Somebody have to have to have to say so or somebody have to have some sense to know the difference between right and wrong. Just because somebody just because you see somebody. So this this famous man, Beyonce's dad, uh, Matthew knows and, you know, and you know who this man is. And I'm pretty sure he told you who he was. And then you're gonna go and have a relationship with him anyway, and you know that man was married, and you know that was Beyonce daddy, and you wouldn't did it anyway. Come on, no, you have to have some respons some responsibility and some accountability. You knew who this man was when you was doing what you was doing. Now here it is, all these years later, you still trying to run and chase that bag. But guess what? But you in a whole relationship with what was the man Harvey Walden the fourth. You in a relationship with him. So what is it? He he like a lot of these other men nowadays. They don't want to have to take care of nobody else's child. I don't know. I just want y'all to just sip the details on that and just look at the big picture. Cause it's more to it's more to it than this. It is more to it than this. It really, really is. It is more to it than this. Um and it, it just is. Like, what is the under part of this whole story? What is the under part of this? It's, it's something more to it than, oh, oh, some story, oh, they're ignoring my son. Well, you think that's supposed to just welcome your son with open arms and he was full out cheating on their mama and had a baby with you? They supposed to... That, they supposed to just put their mama to the side and just and just be nice to you and and share their wealth with you. Are you serious, the lady? Go sit down. Go sit down. Mm -mm. Go sit down. But anyway, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Follow me on all my social media, and I'll catch you in the next one.